So the first thing to do when you're testing your single lens reflex camera is to check the battery is OK. A lot of these the battery is in a, under a little plate like this the, and they usually have two of these LR44 batteries. Um, just either put new ones in or check, check they're OK with a battery tester. The whole, it was actually a bit, a bit corroded and that's been, I've scratched the corrosion off with a screwdriver just to see some bare metal again. Pop that back in. Some of the later cameras with electronic controls won't fire with an outer battery. Um, although the earlier sort of 70s and 80s, usually the, the mechanics will work and the bit that uses the battery is the, the through the lens metering. Okay, so to check the shutter operation on an SLR, the basic operation, you turn the winding lever to cock it and you press the shutter release to, to take the shot and you should hear it operate. A camera will often have a method of locking the shutter release. So this one, if you push the lever right in, it won't, it won't fire. And you have to pull the lever out a little in order to let the shutter button work. More commonly, there's, a, there's often a little lever or button just about here, uh, which you slide and that will lock the button and stop it from working. To check the shutter operation in more depth, um, start off by turning turning the shutter speed dial. This is the B setting, um, short for bulb, which when you when you fire it, the shutter opens when you press the button, and it closes when you release the button. This lets you take a a very long time exposure, or open the shutter in the dark and then fire the flash several times to to light everything up. If we now open the back of the camera. To do this, you fold out this little lever here, and then you you pull up the film rewind lever. This lets us open the back of the camera. If we now turn the winding lever, you can see the you can see the sprockets turn, which will wind the film on. So we're still on the B setting there. So when we press the shutter, it opens. We can see the aperture in the lens. And when we release the shutter, it closes again, if, if it's working correctly, that is. If we now change the shutter speed to one second, cock it, you should see a one second shutter speed working. There we go. So you can go through each shutter speed. We'll put it on two, uh, half a second now, that is. Slightly quicker. Put it on, that's a quarter of a second. Each shutter speed on the dial is uh, approximately twice as quick as the previous one. This is similar to the effect of the aperture, where each f-stop lets in twice as much light as the previous one. So we'll move up to 125th of a second. You can see that 125th of a second is marked in orange here, and you often find that cameras which um, need a battery to fire, they will still work on 125th um, in a sort of manual mode, so that if the battery fails, 125th is a good general purpose setting. So if we put it up to 500, getting much quicker now, and then on a thousandth, then on a thousandth of a second you can barely see it. If you can see the difference in the shutter speeds like that then then that's pretty good and you'd need specialist test gear to check that you're actually getting exactly a thousandth of a second. The other thing to check with the shutter operation is if we cock it again on the, on the B setting with the lens removed we can see what happens on this side of the camera. So when we press the shutter release, what you can see there is the, the, mirror, the mirror goes up and there's a little lever just here. Let's just do that again. 
when the when the shutter fires, the mirror goes up and the the aperture release lever, which is the little lever on the left, that actually at the moment you take the photograph, that lets the the aperture in the lens stop down to what it's actually been set at uh, to give the to give the correct aperture. If we now do that at 125th of a second, you can see it all happens in an instant. So those are the other the other things you're looking for are the operation of the mirror and the the lens aperture release. Sometimes the mirror can get stuck in the up position like that, uh, which would need some kind of repair involving dismantling, which uh, is not something to be undertaken lightly. The other thing you can see here, just there, that is one of the light seals of the camera, and th it's a little strip of black foam which, um, which the mirror flips up against and creates a light proof seal to stop any light from the viewfinder getting to the film. So you can see the, the mirror, as it was a little bit slow to come down there, but what happens is that these light seals can get a bit sticky. Um, it's a problem with all sort of old SLR cameras is the light seal foam deteriorates and becomes a bit sticky um, and can degrade. If it gets bad enough that uh, it actually allows light into the film, you can get kits of little bits of sticky foam to, to replace them with. You have to scrape that off and uh, put a new one on. That is something you can do yourself and the, the kits are available on eBay.